What's going on guys? Waco and Jeremiah Chan here from Revolution Magazine, uh, here with our watchdog Bandit. Bandit, how are you? Bandit's wow, yawning. It's, yeah, it's kind of sleepy. She needs her uh, sort of mid-afternoon coffee. Well, we've got an exciting watch to talk about. Uh, well, yes, actually. <laughs> and you know, I'm not sure if you're aware of this, Jeremiah, but you know, uh, Bandit is something of a prophet. And she's able to whisper into is my she? ear and tell me things about the future of watchmaking. Okay. So Bandit, tell me something about watchmaking. Oh, really? So she says that Frank Mueller is coming back in a huge way, mm -hmm. right? And that's very interesting because I'm wearing a Frank Mueller on my wrist, uh, or actually Ben and I are sharing a Frank Mueller because she's got her paw on my wrist as well. And we have an incredible Frank Mueller to talk about today. It is the 43mm Carbotech Vanguard Color Dreams, right? And Color Dreams is really interesting. So as you guys very well know, Frank Mueller is one of the great innovators in terms of using color in watches. And in 2000, they came up with something called Color Dreams, mm -hmm. which was initially applied primarily to the indexes. You had this rainbow hue of dazzling indexes in every sort of right. color of the rainbow. But here they've taken that same approach and use it for the bridges of the movement, which are made in anodized aluminum. Right. But Jeremiah, walk us through the two primary components of this. Talk to us about the case in carbon fiber, or Carbotech, as so it's named, and also about the bridges which are made in aluminum. All right, so Carbotech is a, is a technology where uh, sheets of carbon fiber are heated and uh, compressed into, I mean, layer by layer into a block, a single block. And then it, the case is machined from that single block. And you can see the different layers in each case uh, creates a graduated pattern that is unique for every single watch. Yeah, it's really cool. I love like the sort of marble-like texture of this where you can see the layers of carbon as they you know, machined away. And I think it's really important to explain also, as you did very well, that when you take a block of carbon fiber that has been compressed and heated, and then you machine a case out of that, you result in a case that is much stronger and much more durable right. than something that is like injection molded. You know, yeah, example. I mean, if you think of like a Kevlar bulletproof vest, you have sheets of Kevlar and the more sheets and layers you add, right, that creates, well, it creates a certain level of thickness but also increased durability. Uh, I'm going to take your word for that as I don't actually have a carbon <laughs> Kevlar. fiber and Kevlar uh, uh, bulletproof vest. Right, I mean, that, do I. And I don't think Bandit has as well. She doesn't live in any high-risk areas right. except for my living room. So, okay, so back to this incredible watch. Um, it is a size that is exclusive to Southeast Asia. It is 43 mm in diameter, which actually is much more wearable than it sounds because the watch essentially has no lugs. It's fixed directly to the strap. Now it's super lightweight also, the combination of Carbotech carbon fiber and aluminum results in a watch that even with the strap and the deployant, which is made in PVD treated steel, is yes. 81 grams. And I think that that's very important also because I think everyone today wants watches that have an amazing visual appeal, that have a great history as this watch certainly does, but it's also incredibly comfortable to wear. Yeah, right? everyday wearability is incredibly important. Yes. Exactly. Yeah, so Frank Mueller to me is, is, a, is, a, is a brand that's so wonderful in terms of expression, using color, for example, using uh, materials as we see in this case as well. The aluminum bridges are really interesting to me because traditionally aluminum is CNC machine, but here they're electro-eroded for yes. even higher precision. If I'm not mistaken, that electro-eroding gives you precision down to the micron. Right, actually. because they use uh, sparks of electricity to remove material from the, the aluminum block. Precisely. So then you end up with these bridges which are then uh, subjected to two types of polishing, magnetic polishing and then polishing by hand using diamond tip tools. And I think magnet magnet yeah, magnetic, magnetic polishing, polishing is a pretty interesting uh, process. So uh, you start with a liquid uh, which has certain chemicals in it and also um, ferromagnetic needles that are also placed in the liquid. So you place the component in this liquid mixture and the whole mixture is then agitated using an electromagnetic field and the component is polished both by the chemicals found in the liquid as well as the needles themselves. Right. So it's, it's a very fine polishing process. But I love the fact that you're taking the best of technology as represented by magnetic polishing and also applying the best of human craft as well because then a very skilled human being over a Frank Mueller mm -hmm. wash line will apply a diamond tip tool to this to polish it to perfection and then it That's is... That's the finishing touch. Exactly. And then it's anodized all these beautiful colors of the rainbow. I believe um, there was a writer who mentioned the press kit for this watch, a marigold yellow, for Okay. <laughs> In a fiery engine. It's red. very evocative. Very, very Fire engine red. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But anyway, the really cool thing about this watch is the way in which the bridges are then attached to also an aluminum subframe, which mm -hmm. goes into sort of a recess in the carbon fiber right. case. So you're getting the best of both materials used in the very best application as well. Um, it's such a cool watch, incredibly comfortable on the wrist. Um, so then, you know, you can see these, uh, the powers there from this, uh, this watch also just by looking at this, as we say, fiery engine red bridge. And you can see the barrels. It's actually two sets of barrels stacked mm -hmm. on top of each other. Right. 
and you can see the condition of how much they're coiled. If they're coiled completely to the center, that means Correct. the watch is at full reserve and incidentally a mighty seven days of power reserve. And as they expand outwards, you know the energy yeah. is being depleted. Both barrels are skeletonized. Both yeah. barrels are skeletonized and stacked precisely on top of each other, coaxial in the same pinion that's being retaining them on this fiery engine right. bridge. And you can see the balance wheel very beautifully and prominently at nine o'clock. You can even see the index that regulates this balance wheel, uh, which has little indentations on the bridge itself to tell you um, how, how to, to set. advance or retard. Yeah. Exactly. And it's integrated into the bridge, Fantastic. The, the regulator needle. And of course, the pre-mentioned uh, seconds hand is being read off of this marigold yellowed, uh, this track at right. six o'clock. And you know, the overall sort of chromatic appeal of this watch is something that's super engaging, visual, dynamic, um, very cool to look at incredibly comfortable to wear because again you know 81 grams and just you know a, a great tribute to the creativity of, of Frank Mueller mm -hmm. I also love the fact that like the, the term Vanguard and the term seven days which refers to the power reserve as well are also spelled out in multicolors as well right so finally for a watch this beautiful like how much would that cost bandit can you whisper into my ear how much it would cost she says it's 83,200 Singapore dollars. However, for those of, of you who show up at the shop and say you're a friend of bandit we'll give it to you to 83,199 <laughs> That's possible. Is that possible? Yeah. <laughs> okay, done. Thank you guys very much, Jeremiah. Thank you for your time. Bandit, great Always job. A pleasure, Hi, Paul. Hi, Paul. Good job, Bandit. Thank you. She says goodbye, everyone. Bye, guys. Bye, Bye guys. Next time.